This is Rep the Culture. I'm your man JB Boy 313 coming at you with another vid. Today in this vid, just like the title says, we're going to be talking about the top three albums of 2018 in this humble hip hop head's opinion. Now, before we get into this video, I'd love to give a huge shout out to the Pearl Gang. You already know. If you haven't yet, head over to Instagram, follow us at Rep the Cult, hashtag all your photos with Pearl Gang become part of the movement. So with that being said, if you enjoy this video, please smash the like button. Greatly appreciate that. Now let's get into the topic at hand. Top three of 2018. Starting with number three, we have at number three, the Black Panther soundtrack, AKA the TDE soundtrack. We only call it that because we know it's heavy with TDE artists along with a lot of other great artists and makes it pretty much why it's my number, in the number three spot for me. This album is 14 tracks long with features from Travis Scott, The Weeknd, and we already know the biggest song off of this is King's Dead, J-Rock Kendrick featuring Future. Go in on that track, J-Rock and Kendrick both go in and flex their lyrical abilities as MCs. Yes, I said it as MCs. So yeah, check that album out. It is accompanies a wonderful movie, probably my favorite Marvel movie to date, besides Iron Man. So I'm just so happy that it had a great soundtrack. Now I will tell you just a caveat, this is not the original movie soundtrack. This is the soundtrack put out to generate hype around the movie. Um, but it is a great album, which is why it made it in to the number three spot. The production's on point, the music is on point, the lyricism is on point. An amazing album. It is available on all streaming platforms. Go ahead and check that out. Along, Also, go ahead and check out that movie, Black Panther. I suggest it is a great, great movie. All right, going on, moving on to the number two slot. Number two, uh-oh, we're almost getting to number one now. So at the number two spot slides in an artist from a label and a movement that I believe in 2019 we are going to be hearing a lot about, and that is Dreamville, and the artist is Boss. Uh, he recently released the album Milky Way. Way. Phenomenal album, right? I love the vibe of this album, especially when I'm, you know, in the studio trying to get work done, trying to do things. I put this album on. It, it's great. Um, the album is 14 songs and basically just has features from the Dreamville label uh, with a couple of features from um, ASAP Ferg and Lion Babe on there. The title track off the album is called Tribe, and it features J. Cole. It is an amazing album. Go check the video out on YouTube. This album is available on all streaming platforms, so go ahead and check that album out. I highly suggest it. And like I said, 2019 is going to be Dreamville's year. Definitely going to be Dreamville's year. So, brrr, drum roll, please. Number one album, in my humble opinion, in 2018, and boy, did we see a lot of albums this year, a lot of phenomenal albums. Just a little rant real quick. Me personally, for listening to this music as long as I have, 2018 to me is one of the best years that I can remember in most recent times. Music has come out for everybody. Literally, everybody, if you like lyrical, if you like hood nonsense, if you like introspective, it's, it's there in 2018 with a lot of great albums. With that being said, let's get into this. And it is very interesting because top two of the top three albums are TDE. Hmm, what is this album, you may say? And that is J-Rock. Redemption.
Yes, that's right. To me, J-Rock put out a phenomenal, phenomenal, phenomenal album, which in a couple of different ways goes to show why TDE is such a strong entity out here and why they are putting out top level music. This album right here, a lot of people wrote J-Rock off, especially after the accident. Um, the album that he dropped before that accident, you know, every, everybody thought it was gonna take off and it, it really didn't. He got into that horrible accident. Thank, thank the Lord that he is healthy and back on it now because he dropped us this masterpiece, Redemption. This is another 14 song album. This, this album had eight singles off of it. And I believe seven of those singles have music videos, which you can all check out on YouTube. I mean, that's crazy. Eight singles out of 14 have I've heard been played on the radio. Um, wow. You know, this is a masterpiece when I say that. And you could just tell J-Rock put it all into this album. He rebounded phenomenally, you know, coming off of everything that he went through. And this album, man, it is, if you haven't checked it out yet, please, please go to your streaming platform or YouTube and check it out. It is phenomenal. The music videos are phenomenal. Even has a local feature from the, the uh, you know, T Grizzly up on there, a local Detroit artist, you know, just dropped the video for that as well. So dope. I cannot praise this album enough. Go check it out, all streaming platforms once again. So with that being said, those are my top three albums of 2018 in a nutshell. I could probably go in depth into these albums, the production aspect, features, you know, go more in depth about the features, but I can only talk about it. If you don't listen to it, I mean, you'll, you'll never understand it then. You know, I can talk about it until I'm blue in the face. But until you go give it a listen, an honest listen, an open-minded listen to these albums, you, you'll, you, you know, you might not understand where I'm coming from. So, you know, please go check these albums out. Once again, I just wanted to say thank you, everybody. It has been a great year. 2018 has been amazing. We are coming down to the end of the year. We just had Christmas. I just want to wish everybody happy holidays out there. A happy new year. It's 2019. Let's get it, everybody. Big things. Strive for your goals. They are possible as long as you put this to it and a little bit of that work ethic. You already know. So thank you once again. I'd like to give another huge shout out to the Pearl Gang. Thank you so much for holding me down, for holding this channel down. If you like what I'm doing, hit that subscribe button. Smash the like button if you like this video. Also, do not be afraid to comment down below. Let me know what you think about these top three albums. Also, let me know what your top three albums were for 2018. Thank you once again. Greatly appreciate everything. Till next time, everybody. Peace.
suck that dick again. Oh, turn around, pop it out, pop it in. <laughs> Nigga, I'm just coolin'. Motherfucker, yeah, I keep the ruin. Popping up and popping and I'm popping in these shit. Shanty all the motherfucker rocking all these skills. Oh, yeah. Infinity, I'm so down. Yeah. Smoking on this weed, I feel so. Ha, ha, ha. Yo, bitch, suck a dick, then she go away. Uh, back, back. back to your lame ass, nigga. Cause I don't wanna fuck with her. I just want the mouth in them pictures. <laughs> nigga.